Chapter 22 Slappy stopped at the door to Robbie's room and peered in. The boy's screams were shrill and interrupted by coughs and choking sounds. His little hands flailed wildly behind the crib bars. Slappy saw immediately what the problem was. Robbie's blanket had become tangled round his neck. The blanket was choking him. Serves you right, you little freak. That was Slappy's first thought. His second thought was that he finally had a chance to do a good deed. He shuffled quickly up to the crib, reached inside, and loosened the white wool baby blanket. Then he gently pulled the blanket out from under Robbie. The little boy stopped his howls. He snuffled a bit, then he shut his eyes and began to drift back to sleep. Slappy carefully covered him with the blanket. You're okay now, he whispered soothingly. You're a good boy. You're okay. Go back to sleep. He whispered into the crib until Robbie was sleeping soundly, comfortably. Then Slappy tiptoed out and returned to the sofa in the living room. One down, two to go, Slappy thought, feeling pleased with himself. That was an easy one. I think I can do this. I think I can beat this stupid curse that Control has put on me. And when I do, Jimmy L. James had better watch out. I'll track him down, and I really will pull his head off. It's the least I can do to pay him back for this nightmare he's putting me through. Gazing at the ticking clock, Slappy drifted off to sleep. He was startled awake for a few minutes later by sounds and voices all around. The front door swung open. Mr. and Mrs. Warren hurried in, shaking off rainwater, both talking at once. The TV droned on in the den. Slappy heard George's voice. She had awakened and was talking to someone on the phone. And over all these sounds, Slappy heard a high wail. Robbie! Robbie screamed at the top of his lungs, crying and shrieking. What's happening? Mrs. Warren cried, tossing off her raincoat. Georgia dropped her phone and came running into the living room. He... he just started crying, she stammered. He was perfectly quiet, really. Georgia and the Warrens went running down the hall to Robbie's room. Robbie, are you okay? Mrs. Warren called breathlessly. Mommy and Daddy are home. Robbie's wails grew even louder, and then from his chair in the living room, Slappy heard Georgia and the Warrens utter screams of horror.